All right, guys. Uh, I had somebody ask me to post a video or make a video on how to change these valve springs. And all I got is Hemi, so we'll do a Hemi. Anyway, uh, shoot. Let me find my screwdriver. Ah, here we go. All right, take the magnets off of it. Pull the spark plug. Turn the engine over. See how the screwdriver goes down deep? Got a valve open right there. Now I'm gonna turn it on the upstroke just a little bit. And then we're gonna feed several feet of this rope down in here. The reason why I'm doing this rope is whenever I turn the engine back up, this rope is going to press the valves up against the head so I don't drop them down inside the head. And you know, four or five feet of this rope will be plenty to get the job done. And then we'll turn it over and it stops, which means the rope is up against the valves, holding the valves in place so I don't drop them. And put my magnets back on my pin or my screwdriver. Now, uh, on these rockers, I've already loosened up the adjusters and they have E clips on them. And whenever you pull these E clips, you want to put them, pull them from the outside. Come on. And if you lose an E clip, you can go to the hardware store, buy another one. Uh, let me grab a screwdriver. Thought I can get it with needle nose. All right. Got me a small screwdriver. Anyway, these E clips. You pop them out from that side, and that is, come on, focus. There's your E-clip right there. Okay. And then you push that out from the side. There's a push rod. that out and a lot of times if I pull in an e-clip I'll hold a neodymium magnet there to catch it just to make sure I don't lose it now pull that one and do not forget your lash caps there and there see the lash cap And if you lose your lash caps, they're several dollars a piece and you gotta wait for shipping. So, make sure you don't lose your lash caps. Now, once your lash cap is out, take a push down with your fingers and rock the little cap out of the way. See how the hemi cap is notched? And when you put your new spring back in, you set it in place. Take your fingers, and I always go from the outside, and I just push it down, rock it back in place. Oops, a little oily there. Ah! <laughs> Let me wipe the oil off of it, it's slick. But the heavier the spring, the harder they are to do. And I know these are not stock springs. Shoot, come on. Ah, oh, that's what it is. There's a little clay under that valve, allowing it to push down. I didn't quite get enough rope in there. There we go. Okay, now it's locked back in. We're going to install our lash caps. And when I do that, I'll put a rag down there just in case I drop them. They don't go down in the engine. The lash caps go on the valve stems. Make sure your rods are down in the lifter pockets. If you look down on the engine, you will see them. And then I take it, put the rod in place, move my rocker to where it goes. And come on in there. Get dirt on your 
So there we go. There's one finger tight. Here goes the other rocker in. that push rod needs to go back up under the rocker there in that little pocket right here and we'll tighten that up finger tight and now the eclipse set it on there Push. One. There's one. Okay, now, screwdriver, stick it in the engine, there's top. You don't, it don't have to be top dead center to set valve lash. I know everybody says top dead center. No, it does not. I tighten these up by finger. Now, watch the valves. I turn it over. See how that valve, all the way open, I'll adjust this valve. Three thousandths. And it's just got a little wiggle to it. That's fine. Yeah, I know. Pliers, whatever. Just demonstration. All right. Now this valve should be set. 3,000 spieler gauge. Turn it over. This one's fully open. This one right here is the one you set next. 3,000. And this is your exhaust valve. You get your intake. Some people will do two thousandths on intake, three thousandths on exhaust. You can do three thousandths on both. Doesn't matter. It's not rocket science. It doesn't have to be perfect. Somewhere between two and three thousandths. And when I set them, I honestly set them. And okay, they got a little wiggle to it like that. I like that set. Done. Anyway, that's how you change your valve springs on these small engines without pulling the head and without getting your valve lash messed up. See, that one's fully open. That one's set. That one's fully open. That one's set. Done. And this engine will not kick back on me. Anyway, see you later, guys.